Eric Jordan here with uh, Steve Gillespie doing the broadcast of the state finals for Alaska, man. At 160 pounds, it features Dylan Bergman, a senior from Sitka with a 3.6 GPA with a record of 33-2, and two, undefeated in Alaska, third in the state at 152 in 2005, Southeast champion versus Jeremy Folk, a junior from West Valley with a 3.6 GPA. Number two seed. Sixth in the state at 152 in 2005, the Mid-Alaska champion. One of the most uh, anticipated matches all year. These guys haven't seen each other. Sitka did not come north this year. And uh, Falk, of course, with the great partner in uh, wrestling room in uh, Weiss. And Bergman exceptionally quick and technical as uh, they go on it. Coach? You know, we see Falk right here going ahead, and he's going to try to use that adrenaline to his advantage. Dylan will sit back as he's done all year, and he'll just hold his place to sit back and wait for the match to come to him, and he'll start opening up here towards the end of this first period. Again, two great wrestlers. Falk comes out of the Ketchikan area, I believe, a few years ago. They made the move up north, and uh, again, great workout partners. Bergman's had a great, great season here for the Sitka Wolves. Yeah, both wrestlers being real cautious here in the early going. They're both very good on their feet. And uh, Bergman, as you say, will, uh, will be patient, and then he'll explode when the opportunity presents itself, as he did in the semifinals against a very tough um, Brad Jorgensen as he exploded for the pin in what otherwise had been a close match into the second period. Zero, zero, 43 seconds left first round. I don't see an advantage for either wrestler so far. Oh, you know, Dylan trying to use the heavy hands, kind of pound that head, work the head, kind of filling out the strength of Folk, and Folk going ahead and trying up that two-on-one tie off the feet. To see if he can gain any advantage there. We're inside 30 seconds remaining in the first period, zero to zero. And again, it's been your typical feeling out process. Nice high crotch right there by Bergman. Can he stay on the mat? Both wrestlers out of bounds. That was a great high C on the edge of the mat with 18 seconds remaining by Bergman. I think he might feel something right there. As uh, no score so far, as he stepped on the line. Good call by the officials. As uh, nine seconds left now in the first round. And basically a first round with only one shot. Yeah, one shot. Again, uh, you know, uh, to the person watching, you're going, boy, there wasn't a lot going on. Now, for the guy that's sitting back seeing on, you're on the mat, boy, there's a lot of strength testing going on out there. Dylan trying to figure out what Jeremy can do. Jeremy trying to figure out what Dylan can do. And, again, we're going to find out a little bit more about these wrestlers over the next four minutes. Well, one of them will end up our state champion. Yeah, unless it goes to overtime, and then we'll have a minute, or maybe a double overtime, a minute 30 to figure it out. And Bergman in control. He's a good writer, and he has the whole package of pinning combinations. Of course, Falk very good at getting out of there, and he's blocking Bergman as Bergman tries to get the leg in. Falk has successfully blocked it, and now Bergman's a bit high. A little bit of trouble there for Bergman. Well, the coach is probably hoping for a stalemate right now because Dylan... Bergman is awfully high, and there is the stalemate by the head official, Kurt Strasbaugh, as Jeremy Folk was not able to go ahead and capitalize on possibly a mistake by Bergman trying to climb over the top and put legs in. 122 remaining in the second period. 0-0 zero, zero is our score. There's a lock hands on the hip. The referee caught it. It happened right in front of him, so there's a huge advantage right now. One escape now, also the one lock hands. It's 2 to nothing. Folk over Bergman. Stake by Bergman and good effort by Falk comes out of there. It's two to nothing. Good for a good second round action here. Yeah, the no score in the first round. As uh, uh, Bergman took one shot, Falk has yet to take a shot from his feet. As uh, he's backing out of there. Bergman trying to get something going. He is the aggressor. He's got Falk right up, backed up to the edge of the mat. Falk still not taking a shot in this match. There's Bergman with a second shot. He's got the leg. 
He's going to try and turn it into a double, but Falk's on the edge of the mat, backs out, no score. Two to nothing, 20 seconds left, second round. Coach? Well, you got Folk working out on the edge of the mat with Bergman pursuing. Again, a big mistake that happened right in front of us was that locked hands. You could see it, and Dylan probably felt it, so he relaxed his grip and allowed Jeremy Falk to go ahead and get that separation needed for the one-point escape. Two to nothing here at the end of the second period, and all of the shots and action has happened on the outer edge. And there's a stall call on Folk right there. As there's the first shot to end the second period. Two to nothing, Folk over Bergman to end the second period. But an important stalling call as Falk never took a serious shot the whole uh, first two periods, although he did do an exceptionally uh, quick escape move that earned him uh, two points. And Bergman tries a roll, doesn't get it. Falk counters now. Bergman fights hands, gets away, and it's two to one as we go into the third period. And Falk with a stall warning. Now you'd think Falk has to take a couple meaningful shots here as uh, Bergman the aggressor. Now Falk with a shot, countered by Bergman. Bergman comes back in with a nice high crotch. He's got the leg. Falk coming around with the with the uh, the backside. Now he's got Bergman's leg. Falk's going to turn it into his point unless Bergman still with the leg. Bergman trying to come out with a switch move. Falk on top. Great scramble action. Falk looks like he's going to get the takedown. Bergman trying to come out. Bergman still with the arm in. Now there's the takedown. It takedown as he gives it up. And it's uh, with one minute left in the third round. It's four to one. Falk action at the edge of the match. Good takedown by Falk. Boy, a great high C right out in the middle of the map by Dylan Bergman. Countered nicely by Jeremy Falk. Turned it into his own shot. You know, I about fell out of my chair. We've been in the room three years with Dylan Bergman, and boy, that's really that was tough to watch. But uh, great scrambling by Jeremy Falk as he's trying to continue to work. He'll go ahead and cut him loose. It's going to be interesting. 50 seconds remaining, four to two. We're going to see some opening up right now in the last 45 seconds of this match. That's Bergman behind four to two. Falk with a stall warning. Falk, yet with a significant shot, mismatch. Good strategy as Bergman's a really good counter wrestler. Falk backing away. Bergman pursuing. Falk trying to work at the edge of the match. Good strategy. Now Falk with a good shot. Good double leg. It looked to me like uh, one foot was out of uh, bounds and Falk pulled it back in, but uh, good shot. Hit. Well, I tell you what, they may reverse this call. The guy had the whizzer in. Let's see. Oh, they did not reverse the call. Bergman had the whizzer in going out of bounds. The match now is 6-2 to two in favor of Falk. With uh, what was left, about 40 seconds? As uh, uh, an exciting final here. As uh, Falk comes out with a good strategy of being cautious. And uh, so far, it has worked for him as he has controlled the explosive Bergman and uh, turned Bergman's shots into his own points and then uh, with a four to two lead, took a good double leg shot and turned it into his points at the edge of the match. 20 seconds left, six to two, Falk. All he has to do is hang on now. Bergman trying to get out of there. Bergman coming around. Bergman looking for an escape. He gets to neutral. That gets his point. Now he needs a takedown to the back. Falk is going to win this match. Four, three, we're at the edge of the match. Six to three, Falk. As uh, Bergman trying to come in and do a throw. One second, that's it, our champion. Congratulations to Jeremy Falk, state champion.